If he pushes you, just push him back. I don't care what the teacher says. If, if you get in trouble, just have the school call me. What'll I do? Well, I'll, I'll march right over there and push your teacher. How about that? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell your mother. Don't tell your, don't. Janice. No, I would. No, I'm not advocating violence. I just think the kid should stand up for himself. Would you put him back on, please? Hey, Bob. Hey, uh, listen, there's uh, just one thing I want you to keep in mind. Uh, you know, all this stuff in school, this who's popular and who's not, you know, in the grand scheme of things, none of it really matters. I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. Can I call you tomorrow? Okay. Hey, I love you. Bye. You're the only one who understands me. Carpenter was doing the autopsy. Yeah, well, it seems Carpenter has a cold, and since she's the only medical person cleared to deal with anything alien related, I now have to take care of everything myself. Did you find out anything? You know what? Your protocol should have said we'd get two of everything two doctors, two engineers, two mathematicians, then we could uh, work in shifts. Next time, did you find out anything? Yeah, they were both infected. And the tubes? Manning was having their blood drained. As far as I can tell, these men were on empty long before Kavanaugh found them. They're creating infectees and harvesting their blood. It's the main ingredient in alien fertilizer. They could be using it to contaminate more food. So they actually kill off their own to further their agenda. We do it all the time. You ever hear a little place called Iraq? Now, if they are trying to spread the infection through food, they're doing it on a large scale. I found traces of insecticide in their tissues. These men were farm workers. If they're shipping out infected crops to the general public? We're screwed. Sharon, you have outdone yourself. We should get a picture. I can take a picture of my phone. Can you really? Uh -huh. Okay, I think you've had enough of those. You just look through here. Hey. Did you get here? Dr. Caffrey. She told me you were sick. She couldn't go into much detail. I didn't want you to see me like this. Don't be silly. I'm so sorry. Don't be. Just get well. No, honey, I don't think I should kiss you. Okay. Now just rest. I've been resting. Have you talked to my parents? Your parents are dead. What? You killed them. And me. You knew you were infected and you came home anyway. Your mother was the worst. They could hear her screaming from a block away. Lucas. How long have I been asleep? A couple hours. How are you feeling? I'm tired. Well, your fiance has been calling. You sure you don't want to see her? Yeah, I'm sure. Does she even know what happened to you? No. She thinks I'm working around the clock designing nano-actuators for the space program. Yeah. I've used that one. Has Ramsey been by? No, I haven't seen him. He's been kind of busy. I'll, uh, I'll see him a little bit, okay? His blood is showing higher levels of uracil. It's a sign the body's gearing up for the mutation process. But it hasn't started. Not yet, although we've never run across anyone this far along who came back. We still don't know how it happened. I mean, did he eat something like Sergeant Adams? Or is, is it part of the same outbreak? I can't tell. The test for infected food ingestion can only be done post-mortem. Molly, there's a chance we're looking at the next phase of the infection he got from the video of the alien signal. I know. Kavanaugh or I could be next. Do we know any more about what Adams ate? 
I haven't found a smoking gun yet, but uh, apparently he was a stereotypical bachelor. The majority of his food came from packages or cans, and we're looking for fresh produce. We're also going to need a test to determine whether the infection comes from food poisoning or, or from the signal. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll get right on that just as soon as I finish checking on Lucas, uh, studying the data on Sergeant Adams, doing autopsies, and creating dental plates for the occasional head of lettuce. Incidentally, let me point out that genetically modified vegetables are a little outside my area of expertise. Hmm. Oh, I've already taken care of that. For my protocols and your whining, we're adding another member to the red team. Whoa, 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 wait. Another doctor? In my lab? Her name is Daphne Larson. You probably read about her. She's a botanist and a leading expert in genetic engineering. She holds a patent to over 20 different modified grain crops. Put her in a rather lush tax bracket. You couldn't turn us down even if you wanted to. We have determined that extraterrestrial life has, in fact, come to Earth. You've been assigned clearance level It appeared to have been some sort of probe. The triple helix. It either mutates the victim or causes him to explode. Well, your home, they have family, nightmares. are under surveillance. Victims have increased strength. You their answer to Dr. Caffrey. They use their blood to alter the food supply. We need you to tell us how. Anything you need will be supplied. You have work to do. Let's get started. Obviously, this is one of the alien experiments that didn't work out. Are there others? Yeah, we found a few with uh, human hairs, one with the beginnings of an eye near the middle. They're light years ahead of us. Uh, what, in the race to grow teeth and lettuce? No, more like hearts, livers, bone marrow. This is the holy grail. You can't be serious. Human DNA and plant DNA? We already insert human protein into bananas to grow edible vaccines against hepatitis B. It's only a matter of time before we piggyback our genes onto plants and grow replacement parts. I I'd like to study this in my spare time. You're not going to have spare time to play Frankenstein's gardener. We need to develop a test for alien food poisoning. All right. Well, from what I've read, the uh, modified lettuce was created by one of the infected crewmen? Yeah, Sontag. He created a fertilizer by mixing his blood with an enzyme. Apparently, the enzyme unzip the third strand in his DNA and attach it to the DNA of the lettuce. When someone eats it, do they show traces of the enzyme in their system? It breaks down too quickly. Excuse me. So if the uh, enzyme acts as an adapter, then anyone who ingests the food should carry the alien strand that was modified by Sontag's DNA. So if we can identify the genetic marker in the Sontag strand... That would be your test. Oh, pretty and smart. I think we're going to be very happy we met. Actually, we've already met. <laughs> I'm sure I'd remember. I was 10 years old. My mom was a, a student of yours. Really? You hit on her, too. Um, where's the restroom? I, I keep getting lost in this place. It's uh, around the circular yeah. hallway. Thanks. Yeah. I'll tell him. Caffrey. We need to talk. Who is this? I want to see you. Tell me who this is. My name is Manning. Since you know how to get a hold of me, I assume you know where I am. Why don't you come down here and we can... Uh... You can what? Introduce me to a detention block? We can help you. You can't help anyone. Why do you need to see me? There's something I want to tell you. Something that will change everything. I'm listening. I have their memories. I have their knowledge. Whose? Whose memories? I guess you'd call them the aliens. I know what they want. I know why they're here. And I'm willing to share it with you. When can we meet? I don't like having my picture taken. Right, he's on a city street about five miles from here. I've got people on the way. Oh, he'll be long gone. The call was routed through a threshold line. Any guesses as to how he got the number? Well, he does have an infected threshold agent. I'm upping your surveillance. Whenever you leave this building, you'll be watched by one of our snipers. Why is he coming out in the open? Good morning. How are you feeling? What's going on? We know what happened to Lucas. He ate mutated food. Are you sure? Without a doubt. Tell her the good part. The alien DNA strand is starting to replicate in his blood. What he's saying is, I'm infected. I'm so sorry. No, but in a weird way, I'm relieved. I've been living in terror since day one. At least now I know I don't have to worry about it. Uh, let me bring Rachel in. No. If I had 
any kind of last request or whatever, it's that she never finds out about this place or anything that we did here. Well, she doesn't have to know. No. Okay. It's your decision. If there's anything you need, anything I can do. Thanks. I'll be back to check on you in a little bit. Hey. At least you and Kavanaugh are still okay. This brilliant kid is not going to be human anymore. He'll spend God knows how many years, maybe the rest of his life, locked in a cage, being fed through a little slot. And all because of your almighty protocols. For a minute there, Doctor. I thought you were going to blame yourself. That's not really your style, is it? Blame myself. First Hatton, then Adams, and now Lucas. We're all going to die here or turn into one of those things. Has it occurred to you that your plan isn't working? You want out? I got it. You have made that abundantly clear. Right now, you do what you can for Lucas, and then we'll talk about getting your replacement. Caffrey. We just got word that a local teenager died suddenly during a family meal. When? Night before last. We're also checking out two other possible mutations in the area. I think we're looking at a full outbreak. No, we're looking at the tip of the iceberg. Dr. Caffrey? Mr. Whitaker. We had a meeting set for this morning. I left word I needed to reschedule. Yeah, well, now we don't need to. So this is where the young man... Um, he suffered a violent reaction to the alien DNA. Which was introduced through the food. We believe so. So there's this one, possibly two more. Those uh, are confirmed. OK. Then we have Adams and Peg, both in the same building. They can wonder how many there are in the building next door. Or in the 1,100 other buildings downtown. I mean, what are we looking at here? We're trying to determine that. Uh, in the meantime, we follow standard procedure, locate and detain infectees. Uh -huh. So how many people do you think you could just yank out of existence before the public starts asking questions? Approximately 300. OK. What about the food? Once we've isolated the specific food being used, we'll collect the entire supply. Simultaneously, we'll trace it back to its source and shut it down. If we don't locate it within the next two hours, the CDC will issue a statement saying not to eat fresh produce of any kind, no fruits, no vegetables. Why two hours? Because that's when millions of people sit down to lunch. May I get back to work? Oh, please, please. Here, Captain Manning called. Is Threshold in the yellow pages now? Or? No, sir, it is not. Oh, well, that's a relief. Let me ask you something off the record. Is Dr. Caffrey the best person to run this operation? Huh? Oh, no, never mind. You're not the kind to rat out one of your own people. May I ask you a question? All right. We first encountered alien food in Indiana. When I pulled up all the files on our mission there, I found some reports initialed by you. Well, if you're going to ask me about them, I'm going to need to see the files. In the meantime, you're not to discuss this with anyone. Understood. <laughs> you have a problem with me, don't you? Come again? Well, I have your job, don't I? I mean, you were going to be national security advisor when Hatton retired, weren't you? Well, I, everybody in Washington knew you had your eye on the prize. And then, aliens. I mean, in a million years, no one could have seen that one coming. Hatton's killed. I have your job. My friend, I'm not going anywhere. If I were you, my friend, I'd wash that hand real good. Hey, get a chance, you might want to stop by and see Lucas. He's been asking about you. Yeah, I will. I've been completely swamped. Yeah, well, so's everyone else, but they're making time to see him. Said I will. You been drinking? Well, if you must know, 
What you smell is from last night. I'm completely sober. I'll be at very hungover. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to work. Thank you. Mm. What's going on? The young man who mutated? This was all the food in the house. Why don't you pull up a microscope? We'll check out the lettuce. I think that's the obvious place to begin. Uh, speaking of lettuce, uh, I want to show you something. This is from Sontag's garden, right? Yeah. About two weeks old. So crunchy. Out of your mind? Well, no, it's okay. You could eat all of this, and except for gagging on the odd body part, you'd be okay. What are you saying? That this is unstable? Lettuce chromosomes. They're chock full of retrotransposons. They're like jumping genes. They go back and forth between. Yeah, I know what they are. Right. Sorry. Anyway, once the enzyme breaks down, the Sontag strand can't hang on to the DNA. It becomes inert. So everyone who was infected by lettuce had to have eaten it within the last few hours of its being picked. <sighs> So where do we begin? Well, we can rule out lettuce, wheat, and corn right off the bat. Because, right. I want to see Lucas. I'm trying to arrange that. With who? Who doesn't want me to see my fiance? I'm working on it. Can you at least tell me what's wrong with him? I, I told you he's sick. I, I know that's not very helpful, but it's all I can say right now. How bad is it? Is he going to die? What are his symptoms? I'm a doctor. I could help. I promise you we are doing everything in our power to help him. Right now, the best thing you could do is give me information, starting with what he's eaten in the last two weeks. Is it bacterial? Some kind of food poisoning? I'm trying to find that out. Normal. It can't be food. We eat all the same things, and I'm fine. What about lettuce? We both eat lettuce. We're vegetarians. Um, I made him a big tray of eggplant parmesan last week. He has some every night before he goes to bed. I think he gives him nightmares. You, you didn't have any of it? No, I, I'm allergic to tomatoes. Where did you get them? What? The tomatoes. You said you made it. There's a farmer's market over on Meredith. I get all... Kavanaugh, farmer's market on Meredith. Shut it down. Put your produce bags down and leave the area in an orderly fashion. ID, please. What's going on? Who's going to pay for all this? Yeah, we need to know where you get your produce. Let's go, sir. Listen up, people. Let's keep these lines in an orderly fashion. Ma'am, who's selling all this stuff? That guy over there. Brooks, orange jacket heading her way. We had an infectee selling produce. The market's closed down, but there's no telling how much food got out there. We've collected every tomato from every corner market, grocery store, and vegetable stand within a 40-mile radius. Good. The CDC is going to say there's a contaminated shipment of tomatoes. Uh, if they got anything from the farmer's market, they should bring it to Providence Hospital. We'll have med techs waiting to check them out. Well, are we telling the public what to look for by way of infection? Well, there's, there's a list of symptoms going out. Strange behavior, increased appetite. Superhuman strength. Let's keep that one our little secret. We've been working on tracking back the produce from the uh, farmer's market. No bills of sale, no shipping statements, but the crates were made by an agricultural supply company in Marion, Illinois. We're getting a list of their customers right now. Great. Could be any one of 100 farms. I've identified the insecticide in the farm workers' bodies. It's sold nationally, but if you cross-check it against your list, we may be able to narrow the search. Do it. Uh, Kavanaugh, I want you and Daphne in Illinois by morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. I, I haven't even unpacked my hotel room, and you're sending me to Illinois. Welcome to Threshold. What do we do when we get there? Go door to door? Or... We've done it before. Uh, bring pictures of our farm workers. Maybe someone will recognize one of them. Your flight leaves in two hours. Hey, Kavanaugh. How far is Marion from New Harmony? I'd say about 100 miles. Thanks. Can't be a coincidence. I don't understand. We scoured every inch of farmland and, and, and monitored every bit of produce transported out of the perimeter. What did I miss? Jeffrey, you are upset. You want to know what I do? 
to relieve stress, I do some light reading. Sometimes it's Mark Twain, collected poetry, Shakespeare sonnets, or sometimes I go through the mission archives and look under agent transfers. Just a thought. I can understand why they need an engineer and a, a doctor and a botanist, but uh, why a mathematician? I mean, no offense, but can't they pretty much do everything on uh, calculators these days? Yeah, but a calculator doesn't have my considerable charm. Besides, I'm also a linguist. I'm fluent in over 200 dialects and their variations. When intelligent life wants to communicate with us, I'm the guy who translates the call. Well, then you shouldn't have to work too hard. I mean, pretty much everyone they've taken over speaks English. Aren't you supposed to be on a plane? Yeah, I'll see you when I get back. Don't you have a plane to go? I'm going. Hey, uh, we're gonna need an estimate on the number of new infectees. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I need to know how many ounces of tomato the average person needs to eat before they want to destroy all humans. Why ask Fenway? I sent him an email waiting for a response. Well, just go down the hall and ask him. Wait. You're avoiding Lucas. I already watched Adams go through this. I can't do it again, not with him. You know, of all the people, that kid, doesn't have one indecent bone in his body. It would be different if it were me or, or Fenway. It never works that way. Life is not fair. Trust me, I know when life's being unfair. Uh, life is way out of line on this one. I actually caught myself trying to pray last night, just in case. Ramsey, you're an atheist. I know. I mentioned that in my prayer. I, I thought I'd win extra points for honesty. You are his best friend here. He needs you. And it's going to be so much more disappointing when I can't go in there, isn't it? I'm, I'm sorry I'm not made of stronger stuff, but I really can't take this horror show much longer. I have work to do. What is this place? Lucas. It's all right. The theta waves were spiking. It's a sign of the nightmares. I thought I'd spare you one. Thanks, Doc. How am I doing? Well, I may have good news. The rate of your infection seems to be slowing. No one's ever been this long without turning. Great. Call the Guinness people. I think it's because of your limited exposure to the alien signal. It's like when people take small doses of arsenic to uh, build an immunity, or, or, or like a flu shot. You mean I might be immune? That's what I'm hoping. <sighs> Any tomatoes yet? I hear it's gonna be a few days. Excuse me. Yes? How many tomatoes were you looking for? Four or five. What, what is it, four or five? Five. How many people in your family? Four. Thank you. Do you have any? Why would I have any? Oh. So, yeah, how long are you going to keep doing that? Well, it might be an hour, it might be two hours. So what is it, you're taking a survey? No, I'm determining the corresponding probability characteristics of a system of random variables. What about you? I shall look at them. I'm sorry about the loss of your husband. We would have notified you sooner, but uh, neither your husband or your brother-in-law were carrying any identification. I mean, we only found you because showing his picture around. Did you bring him back here? We will, as soon as we're done investigating the accident. <laughs> it, was. it was a truck, wasn't it? I was supposed to get it tuned up and I kept putting it off. It wasn't the truck. <laughs> but you said it was a traffic accident. No, and um, I thought. It, uh, the car was parked, it was, it was a train. They were parked on tracks? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I didn't mean train. It was. A, it was an eighteen wheeler. The 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 driver fell asleep. He lay lost control. We understand you're going through a terrible time, Mrs. Vasquez. But we need some information for our forms. Can we have the phone number and address of your husband's employer? What are you doing? You never change the cover story. She's gonna blame herself for the rest of her life for those deaths. Doesn't matter. You could have blown this. Oh, I'm sorry. I've only been a secret agent for a day. Thank you. 
Is this the company that hired your husband? Yes. We used to live in Santa Fe, and my husband's brother said they needed people to work in Indiana, so we came up together. The pay was good, but Juan worked too hard, and he used to be sweet, and then he started getting angry all the time, and I kept thinking things would get better. <laughs> Why did we ever come here? <laughs> This is the address Mrs. Vasquez gave us. Are you sure? Yeah. I think someone knew we were coming. Agent Hargrave, let's get in touch with the owner of this land. took my men. Always good to see you too, Dr. Caffrey. They were still searching for infected food in Indiana. Indiana was secure. You subverted my protocols. No, I overrode them. I wasn't about to go tell the president that I couldn't finish a mission in South America because 10 of our highly skilled agents were digging up turnips. This outbreak is your fault. Be careful. Why don't you tell the president that? Tell the president, because of you, we have God knows how many infected people on the street. This is not the place. Sergeant Adams is dead, and they got one of my team. Well, that's the case. And I suggest that you stop wasting time playing this blame game. Find a way to fix it. Hello, Molly. Manny. You're probably wondering if one of your snipers can get a shot at me. Meanwhile, I'm thinking of the two men I have in Nebraska watching your mother answer her email. It's Caffrey. Stand down. Pete, stand down. Sorry to start on such an awkward note, but I assure you, I don't mean to harm anyone. What do you want? I thought it was finally time we met in person, try to resolve the situation face to face without any more violence. Since when do you care about saving lives? Believe it or not, every life is precious to us too, that's why we came. Forgive me if I seem a little skeptical. You have to understand that what's happening is a gift. It's the next step in your evolution. A gift? Doesn't look that way to me. Talk to the ones you've locked up. They'll all tell you they're better off. They're programmed to. So are you. You need us. Without our help, all human life will be extinguished. How? When mankind was still living in caves, two neutron stars collided. Six years from now, the cosmic radiation from that event will strike Earth. The only way we'll survive is if you alter our physiology. This can be a smooth transition, Molly. You want me to just hand over the keys to the planet? Check the coordinates. Eight hours, right ascension, 34 degrees, south declination. I'd write it down, but I'm sure I'm being recorded. Where do you come from? I appreciate your curiosity, but the only thing that matters now is that you keep an open mind. How do I get a hold of you? I'll get a hold of you. Look, I know what you're thinking. And if you win, you'll sentence everyone on this planet to death. Thanks for the warning. Someone's coming will change your mind. He'll show you the future. And who would that be? I've got someone at NASA looking into that neutron star business. If they really came here to save us, why wouldn't they let us know first instead of taking people against their will? Maybe that's how they tell us. Implant the information in humans so they can spread the word. Oh, I'm not buying it. Manning didn't just come here to chat. He's after something. I want a double security on a pregnant infectee. You think they're after the baby? He said someone is coming who can show us the future. Someone who belongs to them. How long until we know if the baby's infected? A few weeks. How's Lucas? His DNA is mutating more aggressively. It's just a matter of time. I thought he was immune. It only slowed down the infection. It didn't stop it. So, uh, that's it then? Not necessarily. I want to try a Hail Mary. Thank you. The company that hired Vasquez doesn't exist. It's a dummy corporation set up by Manning. How do you know? Federal ID matches an account he used to hold. What's he doing with land in Indiana? Well, we think it was funny Sontag's original experiment. When he started seeing results, he expanded locally. He leases this land from a nearby farmer. All right, so Manning Make some transport infected food to Washington for distribution, probably eating it on the way. 
By the time they get there, they're fully infected, so the blood can be drained and treated. What then? Uh, ship the blood back here, and the next batch of workers use it to fertilize the crops. Mr. Wheeler, you own this land. What is this about? And what can you tell me about the people you're subleasing this land? Well, it's an out-of-state company. I don't know much about them. I wasn't using the land. Is this the representative? No, I've never seen him before. What is this about? Well, you tell me, Mr. Wheeler. Who burned these crops? I heard someone was going around asking questions, and I mean, I don't know what anyone grows around here. I just looked the other way, right? But if it was marijuana, I could go to jail. Well, so you did this. I didn't see any marijuana, but I didn't want to take the chance. Traces of crystalline root formations. This was the place. Arrange to have all this dug up to a depth of two feet, send samples back to Washington and the rest back to our facility in Arizona. We'll be going over your property, every acre of it with a fine tooth comb. So if you could save us some time, I suggest you do it. Well, I know he's renting a greenhouse about a mile from here. I'll take you to it. That'll be appreciated. It's getting worse, isn't it? I'm afraid so. Dr. Fenway has an idea. It's extremely risky, but I think you should hear it. Whatever it is, yes. It's kind of a no-brainer, right? Lucas, I want to expose you to the alien signal. Great. You've resisted the mutation so far because of your low-level infection from the signal. If we give you a controlled burst, there's a chance your body could completely reject the Sontag strand. Lucas, we don't have much time. I want to base the strength and modulation on some of your research. I sure as hell hope I didn't make any mistakes. How are you translating my data? He's using a calculator. Where have you been? Channel 5's running a Twilight Zone marathon. Uh, so what's going on around here? Anything interesting? Yeah, uh, you know. Same old, same old. Uh, I, I've, uh, I've isolated his frequencies. What about running a wave pattern in, in, in opposition to his data output? Hey. Thanks for coming down. Listen, if this doesn't work, tell my wife that I love her and that she's the most important thing in the world to me. Your wife? Yeah, we got married a couple weeks ago. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing. With all this alien stuff going on, I figured you can't count on the future, you know? She really wants to see you. I know. I know. I recorded a message for her, just in case. I guess I can wear my ring now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Looks like these are ready to be harvested. Hey, Daphne. Mistaken, this blood came from the bodies that we found in Washington, and probably a few that we didn't find. You from behind the plastic, come out nice and slow. count if anybody doesn't want to be here now's the time to go in three good luck two now
It's too late for me. What do you mean? I got the disease. You're infected? I'm the last one. Everyone else is dead. The first ones caught it. From the sound. A lot of them died. Fast. They blew up. Like they ate gunpowder. And the rest... I beat them. Damned if I did. How? It's all in my journal. Right now, I got just one more thing left to do. Good luck, son. No! Wait. Is it done? Long time ago. You've been asleep for almost ten hours. Well, that business about telling your wife you love her, looks like you'll get to do it yourself. Oh. <sighs> wow. Can I borrow your phone? You want to call her now? Ramsey. I need him to pull up everything he can on the history of guns. What? It was probably, I mean, it looked like Civil War issue, but I need to figure out the exact year. How are you feeling? This was probably nothing more than a crazy-ass dream, but... There's a chance I just met someone who can help us. I'm just saying it's a huge room, considering only seven people can be in here when the monitors are on. We like to stretch out. How'd you like being out in the field? It's uh, not for me. I don't think I'm going to last here too long. Hmm. Might want to adjust your thinking since you really don't have a choice. Who wants to stop me from leaving? You have a chip in your shoulder. It's a chip on my shoulder, Mr. Linguist. Hey, everybody. Here's where we stand. On the plus side, uh, Lucas will return to work in a few days. Thank you, Dr. Fenway, Dr. Ramsey. And we shut down the source of the infected food supply. Ramsey? Now on the minus side, and it's a big one. Figuring in the growth time for crops, uh, known vendors in DC, and consumption perhaps all based on national averages. Give us the number. We have a possible 190 new infectees out there. Margin of error, 15. We no longer have an outbreak. We have a population. Starting immediately, we take threshold to a new level. More people will be brought into the fold. You'll each head up your own department. We have lists of approved professionals in your fields. Choose your teams wisely. We now know our adversaries have two goals, spreading the infection and stopping threshold. We also know Manning is still out there. We can expect him to recruit and organize his new population. As of today, we'll have agents on the streets 24-7. We'll also begin a citywide wiretap. Our new infectees can be any age, post-puberty, rich, poor, from all walks of life. The public will be under strict surveillance, their civil rights curtailed until we regain control. As the threat escalates, so does our response. I know I've asked the impossible from you so far, and you've all delivered. But now, I'm asking for more. You got it. I'm just getting warmed up. I didn't want to leave anyway. Let's get to work. Dr. Fenway? Keep an eye on the mother-to-be. Her baby seems to be important to Manning. Let's find out why. I've never told you this before, but in my opinion, you are definitely the right person for this job. Thanks. This just came for you. It's from NASA. 